In this video, you will learn how to prove theorems about lines and angles, and to use the proof to identify a missing measure. When a pair of parallel lines are intersected by a transversal, special pairs of congruent and pairs of supplementary angles are formed. Same side interior angles, such as angles 4 and 6, and same side exterior angles, such as angles 2 and 8, are supplementary. When two angles are supplementary, their measures add to 180 degrees. Corresponding angles, such as angles 1 and 5, alternate interior angles, such as angles 3 and 6, and alternate exterior angles, such as angles 1 and 8, are congruent. When two angles are congruent, their measures are equal. You can use this information to write a two-column proof and determine a missing measure. Let's look at an example. In the following diagram, JK is parallel to line LM. The measure of angle KPO is 2x plus 35, and the measure of angle MOP is 3x plus 55. Complete the proof, then find the value of x. Write a two-column proof with statements on the left and reasons on the right. Always start with the given in the proof. Line JK is parallel to line LM. Using the theorem of corresponding angles, you know that angle KPO is congruent to angle MOQ. Because angle KPO is congruent to angle MOQ, the measures of these angles are equal. Now, remember you are trying to prove that angle KPO is supplementary to angle MOP. Angle MOP and angle MOQ are linear pair angles. So, angle MOP and angle MOQ are supplementary. Thus, the measure of angle MOP plus the measure of angle MOQ is equal to 180 degrees. Because statement 3 shows that the measure of angle MOQ is equal to the measure of angle KPO, substitute MOQ with KPO to show that the measure of angle KPO plus the measure of angle MOP is equal to 180 degrees. Thus, angle KPO and angle MOP are supplementary. Now find the measure of X. Remember the measure of angle KPO plus the measure of angle MOP is equal to 180 degrees. Substitute the given expressions and solve for X. X equals 18. Now you know more about how to prove theorems about lines and angles and to use the proof to identify a missing measure. Thanks for watching.